Hey there, Anjali, Queen B from 95.7 The Beat, Tampa Bay's number one for hip hop, R&B, and throwbacks. You know, as parents, we all want our babies, we all want our kids to do well, and we want to do what we can to help them do well. Which brings me to today's topic of prevention. Please welcome Ms. Doris Nardelli from the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network. Hey, Ms. Doris. Hi, Ms. Queen B. It's so nice to see you again after all of this COVID thing going on and our last time we chatted, but indeed, it's great to indeed. see you. It's wonderful to see your face. Okay, so first of all, remind us or let us know, what does the Central Florida Behavioral Health Network do? What is it? Okay, C CFBHN, as we acronym call it, shorten it, is your managing entity. And we serve the public in the safety net of care for 14 counties in Southwest Florida. And so, uh, the safety net of care for mental health and uh, substance abuse services. So we contract with providers, we provide services, education, and a whole range of things that um, are needed by our communities. Indeed. And again, today we are talking about prevention. That's the focus. So what exactly is prevention and how does it affect our communities? Okay, prevention is exactly what it says. It prevents bad things from happening, hopefully. Um, in, the, in this case, we're talking about, uh, for most of our counties, the use of alcohol in our middle school and high school age um, youth. And so we do this through education with people we call coalitions, prevention partners, and coalitions, which are two separate groups. And they do a lot of the heavy lifting out in the communities with education in the school system. Of course, they've had to do it remotely now because of COVID, but they provide services out there in all 14 counties. Indeed. Well, as parents, as adults, we all want to do our part. So do you have suggestions for parents on what they can do to help prevent alcohol use with our youth? Yes, uh, I do. We have a new uh, educational and informational program that is launching. It's going to be a year-long campaign, and uh, it's in two parts. Part, of, part one talks to the kids, and we can talk a little bit about that later. The other is to the parents, and we encourage the parents to talk to their children. Talk, they hear you. They are the most pivotal an important uh, group in the child's life. It could be a grandparent, it could be a parent, it could be a guardian, whatever the situation calls for, but they are the most influential people and we want them to talk because their children are, are there, whether they, they think they are or not, they do listen and they need this information and the parents, the guardians, they are the ones that are best likely to get this uh, message to their child, what to expect, what to do, give them the tools they need, why they should and should not use alcohol, and the opportunities to talk to them are going to be everywhere. You can do it um, at home. Of course, everybody's at home a lot now. Which, which brings me, which, you're kind of rolling into my next question. You're good, Miss Doris, is how do you start the talk? Usually when we're talking about the talk, it refers to intimacy. So how do you yeah. initiate that talk? Okay, this is another the talk you need to have. And actually, we are going to have a lot of resources located on our website. That's www.cfbhn.org. There's going to be a special tab for prevention, a special tab for the talk. You can actually download, if you're so inclined, an avatar for your phone to help you prepare for the talk. You'll be given tips and um information and facts about why it's important for your child to hear uh, not to use alcohol and how they can respond to peer pressure or how they respond to what they see and hear on TV and the radio and for things that seem to appear to encourage alcohol use. But all of those resources are going to be there for them so that they can prep for the talk and find those times that are most, uh, are most uh, appropriate for them to have the talk with their child. Indeed, and last but not least, for those young people that are listening, how, how, what is your advice to them to receive the talk? <laughs> okay, now we have, we're gonna also have on our website a special section for the youth, and we've titled that section in this part of the campaign, In It to Win It, 
because they may feel like, well, yeah, I, I, I'm interested in the talk that mom and dad has, but I might have some more questions or I might, I might want to look something up. So we're going to give them their whole space and section uh, that's going to be entitled In It to Win It. And that's where we will provide them with some other reasons that they can look at on their own and hopefully some, um, some conversations with young people their age about it and ways to reach, reach out and, and interact with them. So we're going to do our best to, to get that up and running as well. Indeed. And, and I too want to participate. I want to do my best. I want to be in it to win it. We're all in it to win it with our kids. <laughs> That's right. And, and as far as the talk, parents and you just know that we're, we're here. We're listening. We're talking. Let's communicate together. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. And, and that website, once again, is cfbhn.org. Correct. Thank you, Ms. Doris. Thank you.